Hello folks and welcome. So I have another request by another subscriber about uh, giving a video on Peppermint OS, latest version as of uh, September of 2023. So I'm going to walk through that process, give you a little bit of information about Peppermint OS. So um, Peppermint OS 6.1 series kernel I'm filming in 1920 by 1080. Um, if you need to adjust your screen resolution, then go ahead and hit that gear symbol on your YouTube player. This is an XFCE desktop. You can see my icon themes. I'm using everything standard. The only thing I installed is Simple Screen Recorder and Firefox. So uh, the welcome screen looks like this. And uh, after you install that, um, they have selected packages for web browsers. I chose Firefox. So you can see that's lit up. So here's some of the other choices. Suggested software, probably want to do time shift or a backup tool and maybe some of this other stuff. But uh, more importantly, the Peppermint Hub, the Pep Docs, just goes to uh, wait till it loads. And there we go. And um, I think I'm pretty much done over here. So I'm going to uh, just point out the fact that we have some uh, links over here. And then I'm going to close this and walk through the menus. Standard wallpaper. Right click on your screen. Create launcher URLs and etc. So um, this icon may be hard to see, but this is your um, multifunction key. So let me just create one of those. And I'll just type in um, in the just type in log. That should be probably good enough to create one of those. And we'll do that twice. And you get one of those keys. And I'll send it downstairs. I'll put it right here in the corner. I'll leave this one up. This will be a little bit more convenient to log out and shut down the system. All right. Right click. Um, you can create a bunch of uh, URLs if you want. I call that the poor men's web icon. You just put a name, put a website in, and you can change the icon or you can just leave the generic and hit create. It's pretty simple to do actually. Open up terminal, open up Thunar, your file manager in root mode, and desktop settings. So here is your background. You only get the four. So bring your own backgrounds as one would say. Okay menus and icons you got icons on the desktop increase the size okay now single click has been turned off that's a good thing i don't like that anyways and uh, none of your icons are being shown so you can activate those if you want them if you want them again don't forget about cracking this up a little bit if you're wanting to see them a little bit bigger i'll turn this back off Right click. Um, you can also run your applications through this menu and also another logout place. Okay, so I will leave that icon and this one. So we have the time date thing, clock and calendar. You got the volume thing. You got uh, notification thing. And we have terminal for doing your updates. And I will say continue. 36 packages to update and we'll say yes. And I'll allow that to finish. So a little bit about the system while it's doing its update. I'll open up Firefox while it's actually doing the update in the background. I'll try to. Let's uh, click that. And uh, we will open this on distro watch. I'll let that finish in the background. I'll resize this on the fly, holding down the control key, scrolling up, and then letting go of the control key and scroll, and then scrolling normally. Um, it's kind of a mix, so maybe that's a better, better shape for it. So uh, Peppermint OS uh, is out of the UK. It's a Debian, Debian, or Debian stable. I'm using this branch. So it's an XFCE desktop. They offer a live medium so you can give it a test run. I don't really use the popularity factor on DistroWatch. PeppermintOS.com website looks like that. 
download, I'm using the Debian version of the 64-bit. Looks like they offer a 32 and also the DWIN. DWIN. And uh, anyways, I'll close that. Well, oh, still working in the background. So I'll let that finish. Uh, again, I just installed this thing. It's a fresh install. So let me continue while the thing is playing there. And um, I have the uh, keyboard and mouse thing. So that's what you were looking at. I'm using wireless um, keyboard and mouse. My mouse is a regular USB based mouse with a scroll wheel on it. All right, simple screen recorder is what I'm using and my network thing and the workspaces. So workspace one and two and um, I'm still waiting for this thing to finish. And I'll turn, uh, this is another way of looking at system information using INXI. I'll make this a little bit bigger for you. And uh, I get 6.1 series kernel XFCE desktop Peppermint OS bookworm. GCC is 12.2.0 if you're curious. And you can see what kind of hardware I'm using. AMD, AMD graphic card. It's a Radeon RX 550, it's a four gig video card. Again, 1920 by 1080 is what I'm filming in today. Close. Now I'll switch to the other desktop. And uh, we are finished, hopefully. Let's double check. I think it auto closed. And yeah, it's finished. Okay. So walking across, again, I'm using simple screen. So we have this little tiny arrow thing. You can open up Synaptic Package Manager, Text Editor, uh, Network Configuration, Power Manager, and Run Program. So the hub looks like this. Uh, Multi-function multi stuff you can do in here. Okay. So Synaptic looks like this. Might as well give you a package count. 64,577 are listed. 1545 are installed. Where's the stuff coming from? Make this a little bit larger for you. Um, you can see that's uh, coming from the bookmark, bookworm for the uh, peppermintos.com repos and also Debian. Okay. I'll just scroll down here and close. I'm really not going to walk into a uh, showing you how to install stuff you can well actually I'll just do it real quick mark that for installation if it needs more goodies mark that and hit apply you can also search for software okay and um, I don't think I installed anything through terminal but let me go look no I did not so if I wanted to install stuff uh, since I'm using the, that version, I'll just do, I'll just try to reinstall VLC because I think it's already installed. And it is. So that would be a typical install command. It's already telling me it's on the newest version. But here's your typical install command for that. Moving forward, um, we have the uh, red icon here, which launches your Thunar file manager. Very typical commands for the XFCE desktop environment. Holding down your control key, using your computer mouse if you have a USB based one, scroll wheel to resize icons on the fly. I'll make this larger. Again, all I'm doing is clicking right below this line. I normally use a different mouse pointer for this demo, but your pointer tip has to be below this line for this to work. We can also use the old fashioned way. Okay, so if you want to resize your icons the old fashioned way, click zoom in out a normal size or hold down your control key and hit uh, plus repeatedly or negative repeatedly or hit control zero for normal size icon. Control zero, control hold it down, plus, 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 minus, 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 minus. I have some wallpapers here holding down the control key scrolling up. 
and I'll click on this one and hit the space bar and this opens up in full screen pretty much okay so this is image magic right click set as wallpaper okay so um, that's just my user pep one and um, again resizing icons really not going to spend too much time in the file manager I'm going to continue on here's your menu here's the search bar all apps favorites you got the welcome in the pep hub and then I'll walk through the sub menus this is what comes installed I will resize this by grabbing a hold of the corner and um, hopefully that is large enough for you um, if not I will make this slightly larger and close how is that is that better okay accessories slowly gonna I'm not really gonna open up a lot of things but if you are gonna make changes I do suggest the screenshot tool entire screen active window is actually my favorite I don't normally capture the mouse pointer but normally screenshots are recommended if you're making changes so accessories walking through I stop right there okay task manager Thunar your file manager archive and uh, mouse pad is a text editor and um, Vim graphics you can of course install things like GIMP graphical uh, GIMP is like Photoshop um, again it doesn't come with a web browser so you need to install one okay this is the only thing it comes installed multimedia I installed uh, both simple screen and VLC settings settings manager here's your appearance for styles icon sets fonts don't like the 11 make it bigger custom dots per inch you can of course increase that and if you are going to play with the scaling just be very conservative okay mugshot you can change that if you like to something different there's a couple things I have in here I'm gonna hit cancel put in your name address and all that good stuff if you feel like filling that out clipboard manager settings desktop again four wallpapers if I didn't make mention of this earlier file manager settings behavior set to double click uh, notifications and uh, I will skip over that panel um, you can here's the panel down here you can reduce that in size if you like I don't recommend turning that off though and this is what happens if you do you don't have any icons here hardly okay I will just recommend that you leave that on because this makes enough room for all your icons that are currently on there most people don't play with that however you could change the panel height which I did you're allowed six rows let's use the excessive in either case you probably want to increase that or maybe not okay and um, if you are going to play with the furniture rearranging icons down here I would recommend screenshots you can move these objects around whisker menu is the menu itself the launcher over here is this icon that I created it's the same one as that and then there's a separator in here and then the clock itself is running right there all right continuing on all settings so I left at um, panel panel profiles and uh, text editor settings window manager again if you want to move these uh, little buttons click and drag uh, where did I leave off uh, window manager uh, the tweaks use them sparingly workspaces one and two I have down here and uh, color profiles I really don't use 
and display us if you want to change the resolution. Again, I'm filming in 1920 by 1080 at 60 hertz. Okay, and no, my monitor is not 72 inch. All my Linux distros report that. That's not an error. It's just the way it comes up as identification. However, this monitor is 43 inches. Not a big deal. You can't see that on YouTube anyways. All right, um, keyboard. Application shortcuts, you may want to take a look at that and become familiar with some of them. Okay. And uh, I'm using a standard keyboard. You're normally asked that during installation anyways. What kind of keyboard and what language. Power manager. Um, that's a good thing to have depending on your computer. When you press that power button is to ask. It's the same thing. You'll get a default that looks like that. Um, other than that, I will probably not spend too much in here. Now you can see my keyboard and mouse. Both of these are Logic Tech products. All my videos have timelines and chapters also, by the way. All right, mouse pad. The only theme you get is this black one. I did not do any installation of any mouse cursors. You can find just about any video on my YouTube site for an XFCE desktop. Follow that and you'll be able to install your own mouse pointers that way. Because they all get installed only in two locations. A dot icons on your locally logged in user and US or share icons. All right, so I'll pulse audio. So now you can hear me snapping my fingers and that's going back and forth for the mic. Accessibility option. And um, default apps. And I'm really not going to you know, do anything with the greeter. But more importantly, you have some options in here. And session and startup. Really not going to get into anything about the auto starts and stuff. So just be careful not to turn things on and off unless you absolutely know what you're turning on and off. All right, uh, settings editor, really not going to cover in this video. All right, so that's general settings. All right, so I have one more time with the menus. I did not in install time shift. You can actually do that from your welcome screen. That would be for system restores. Okay, just wanted to point out some of the stuff that's in here. There's your welcome screen. So uh, accessories, graphics, internet, only one web browser, multimedia. Again, I installed both of these. So all you have is Pulse Audio installed by default. And then the settings, again, you can just open up the settings manager and then system. Okay, so it does have Gparted installed in case you wanna do some of your partitions and stuff. But keep in mind, you can adjust your partitions when you're booted in to your local hard drive. This will be for other hard drives or possibly even USB sticks. Okay, but in general, this is what you have in system. Don't forget about the searches. These keys are very dark down here. There's the settings manager. This is your lock screen and this is your multifunction logout key. That's one of the reasons I made that. So it's nice and bright in the corner. Again, you can put these anywhere. You can even dump them on your panel if you like. There you go. Now I have two of them. All right, so right click, panel. Panel preferences is also where you can make these adjustments. Okay, I think I covered right clicking on the screen. So again, with the um, desktop settings, the wallpaper is this thing you are looking at. And uh, there are some of the other ones here. They're kind of nice, but you can also use your own. So if I go to the file manager, I do have a couple of photos in here. I'll enlarge this on the fly. I'll make the mushroom a new wallpaper. So on that note, folks, I will say thank you for watching.